Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, let's get ready. Anyway, I had somebody write the Supreme Court before all of you. I'm going to show you the letter from the Supreme Court. See, Supreme Court of the United States, not the United States Supreme Court. Pay attention. This is the court that you want, Office of the Clerk. How do we know this? This was July 27, 2022. I will put a sample of this letter up tomorrow, not tonight. It's too late, and we've had a lot of clouds, so i got to conserve energy. Um, solar. We've had clouds the last two days, and i got to conserve energy tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, because one of my batteries just was sent back for repair. So um, let me go ahead and... Well, no, no, no. I have an extra battery, but the extra battery I have was supposed to be run in conjunction with the other battery, and then I have a wind generator that I haven't connected yet. So I got to do those things. So, yay! Let's talk about this, though. You don't mind? Okay. This is Mr. Scott Harris. He's a clerk for the Supreme Court. He says, in reply to your letter or submission received July 26, 2022, I regret to inform you you regret. No, you don't that the court is unable to assist you in the matter you present. Under Article 3 of the Constitution, the jurisdiction of this court, they just admitted that their jurisdiction is Article 3. Yes! Sorry, you don't understand, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I needed. I needed them to tell me that they were part of the judicial branch of government. And Article 3, they operate as the judicial branch of government. This court extends their jurisdiction only extends to consideration of cases or controversies controversies properly brought before it from the lower courts in accordance with federal law or filed pursuant to the rules of this court pay attention that's not true but that's okay your papers are herewith returned to you now give me a second got to check something just wanted to make sure that I crossed out certain things. Want y'all to see what was sent to them. Not everything. It is my own will act and is my free will act indeed. In volition, I do hereby attest that the presenter of the following documents is blah, blah, blah. Petition for assignment to the Supreme Court of the United States. So we're asking the Supreme Court to assign a case to an Article Three court. Court filings, federal suit, promissory note. We did a federal lawsuit, and we attached a promissory note. We, he was supposed to send this to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. That's what happens when people don't listen. I need y'all to hold on a second. I got to call this person. Sorry, there was some confusion. Now, I'm going to finish talking about the other injunctive relief declaration, uh, declaratory judgment, trial by jury, not jury trial, but trial by jury. Notice of intent to sue, summary of intent and disposition, because we're already we're preparing to sue, and we wanted them to already have the lawsuit. That's what I did in Arizona EIA, but they returned his items, so let me explain to you why this is good. Because they told him that they were an Article Three court. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the judicial branch of government. So they just aff affirmed that we found it. So ladies and gentlemen, let me show you what I'm affirming. Are you affirming anything? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Should have uh, deleted that name, but y'all didn't see it. Ladies and gentlemen, you see this right here? This is what I tell them. Let me stop before the name. There seems to be some confusion. I wrote you in the hopes that you would direct me to an Article Three court. In my, it's supposed to be in, so I got to correct that. It does that. I got it. I got to proofread it anyway. And this is AS conferred upon it original jurisdiction. Okay, in my area, this. Oh no, that was the correct word. Sorry. Ooh. Do you see that? That's the correct T H A T. That has confirmed upon it original jurisdiction, or conferred, not confirmed. The dilemma is, and notice how everything is in lowercase, the dilemma is that judicial power is not divided, but yet the lower courts are supposed to possess the same judicial power as the Supreme Court of the United States. Is this not a correct understanding? <coughs> Please understand that my question is not asking you for legal advice, 
Just clarification as to the understanding as to where I may find a court that has judicial power. That will be the proper jurisdiction for my constitutionally protected right to access the judicial branch of government. Please note that I can only find courts that are registered as corporations with the Internal Revenue Service, for instance. And we list the Administrative Office of the United States Courts, the Federal Judicial Center. We can get rid of includes. Okay. Well, yeah, we can do that. Because these are all under the Administrative Office of the Court. Administrative Office of the Court is an administrative agency. Okay. And according to Dun & Bradstreet, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is in Nevada. Okay, that's their headquarters and decision-making headquarters. Look, got all the information showing that they're a corporation, a for-profit corporation. It is well known and established, however, when, as in the case above, they engage in commercial business activity, they abandon their sovereign capacity. So I am only trying to access the judicial branch of government where the judicial power lay. It's morning as we slept the night. Oh, I ain't supposed to be singing that song. That was Shirley Murdoch. Murdoch, Murdoch. Where's B.A. Baracus? I'm sorry. It's the D team. All right. Our courts have held that state, a state is a corporation, cannot be doubted. It is a legal being capable of transacting some kind of business like a natural person. And such being is a corporation. See, a natural person is a corporation and pay attention. And a state is a corporation. That's what they just said. Natural person is a corporation in the state. And such a being, like a natural person, is a corporation. The federal government is the sole sovereignty recognized by other governments. The federal government is the sole sovereignty recognized by other governments? Well, the United States government is a corporation. No! No, they can't be saying it ain't so. When the United States enters into commercial business, it abandons willfully its sovereign capacity and is to be treated like any other corporation. See, the original was Planters Bank of Georgia, the Bank of the United States versus Planters Bank, 1824. It's a maxim. So again, shall we continue? So I am only trying to access the judicial branch of government where the judicial power lay. You make mention of a lower court. How can a lower court have the same judicial power that per the Constitution in Article 3 is vested in? Oh, not that one. Uh-uh, we need this one. You got the right one, baby. Oh, in E, one, Supreme. And let's get rid of the CT junk. Oh, you are. Oh, C, our, T. <laughs> You did not mention that these were Article Three courts, such as yourself. I need to know how to access an Article Three court under constitutional power granted such a court known as judicial power. I am not asking for legal advice. I am asking for access to government. In this instance, the judicial branch of government. I am not asking a member, or excuse me, I am asking a member of that branch. You have identified yourself sorry, as being a part of the Article Three Constitutionally Empowered Judicial Branch of Government. As a constituent, the member of the citizenry, I, oh, oh, it's supposed to be civilianry. Sorry, I did that wrong, says citizenry, please. I'm sorry, there is no word of civilian read, so I got to create it. Okay. See, watch. Civilian. So, so and the civilian read, I am not asking for something. I do not have the right to. And something you don't have precise knowledge of. Okay. 
we're going to put or. Got to get it to catch up to what I'm doing. Now I'll put y'all on pause for a second. Okay? Got to eat. I put or something you're not cognizant of or concerning, or is it a secret? It certainly can't be a secret. Which courts are judicial? Which courts are legislative? Which courts are administrative? Since there are so many different courts belonging to each branch of government, I am trying simply to find the courts under the judicial branch, Article 3. Not supposed to be branches. Can you provide me with the list? Can you provide me with the Article 3 court that possesses judicial power under the Constitution for the United States of America that doesn't engage in commercial business activities? Each one of the courts in my area has a registry. Did you know that the court's registry is allowed and or permitted to collect interest on the monies received? Interest equates to profit. Let me put my question mark here. The United States government cannot make a profit. It is a government for the people, by the people, and of the people. It's supposed to be. Get on over here! Is this not correct? I don't want to argue with you. But I simply ask. We're going to get rid of the butt. Oh, mama, he getting rid of his butt. I simply ask you to direct me to the Article 3 court that has judicial power, and that's all I'm asking. Postscript, pay attention. Do you know that these so-called lower courts charge a fee for access? How can a court charge a fee for access? Aren't these fees covered by the annual budget that is sent to the administrative agency created by Congress known as the Administrative Office of the United States Courts? So. None of the courts that I have encountered have been willing to answer any of these questions. So I ask, let's get rid of this soul. Only one soul. So, so, it's just so, so. I ask that you appoint, not appoint, that you point me to a judicial branch of government, to not, it's supposed to be the, T-H-E. Judicial branch of government, judicially empowered court. The judicially empowered court, as recognizable or cognizable by the Constitution's Article 3, so that I may seek and petition for redress. Comma. A secured right that may not be abridged. At least the First Amendment. As there can be a right against us. I guess someone has made a procedure. We can put a period. I guess someone has made a procedural rule that prohibits persons like myself from accessing, so not with myself, like, L-I-K-E, L-I-K-E-E-E-E, -E 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 -E, myself from accessing the courts in its judicial branch, P-O-W-E-R, and branch capacity. <laughs> All right, and that's the document. And I will send, put this online tomorrow. It will be Clerk of the Supreme Court is going to be the name of it. Okay, Clerk of the Supreme Court. Got it? All right, now, one second. I got to show y'all something. Hold on now. Let me show y'all something. I think you're going to find this interesting. Then we're going to bring this to an end. The government of the United States. A corporation. Headquarters. Washington, 
District of Columbia, United States. What? Ladies and gentlemen, one stop. Pull up all the information, but hold on. Let's see what type of business. U.S. government is headed by the president, who, along with the vice president, is elected for a four-year term. Presidential elections are held in an unbroken sequence dating back to 1788. The executive office of government is known as the White House, situated in the heart of the nation's capital, the president's cabinet. What do we need to know that for? It says business description. That ain't the business description. Okay, that ain't the business description. Let's find out what the business description is. Can I show y'all something? Y'all want to see something? Y'all gonna love this. Oh, by the way. <sighs> franchise. It's a franchise. What the? That's right. United States government is a franchise. They do business as U.S. government, White House, the country, United States of America. See, not just the United States of America, but the country, United States of America. They do business as, ladies and gentlemen. They do business as, hold on, trade names. Okay? That's the trade names. Uh-oh, owns. They own because they're the parent corporation. Let's look at the family. Y'all ever seen the family? Yeah, let's go talk to the family, y'all. The family got a lot to say, you know, because they tell you all the spilt milk and beans and juices and all of that stuff. They're getting into the nitty gritty. Now, here you go. The executive office of the president. There you go. Then you got Congress, United States. These are the corporations that they see corporate family. Let's do the Supreme Court. Tick tock, 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 tick tock. It's doing a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen. Hide branches. No, we ain't going to hide branches. We're going to show the branches. That poor tree had its branches exposed. Court of Appeals. Got to find a district court for our area. Hold on. See? That's the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. Why is it no, don't have, look at that. This of Columbus Circuit, look at that. They ain't got no pluses and minuses. Let's see what court is under the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. TikTok. There you go. These are all the courts underneath the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, ladies and gentlemen. A corporation. Now they got this is the this is not the Long Star State, but let's see what this star mean. Y'all want to see? This is done in Bradstreet. As mentioned, this account costs five thousand five hundred dollars a year. This ain't no joke. This is for Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen. Temple Street. This is for Los Angeles. I didn't even look at that. I just knew Temple Street. 22.55. No. 255 East Temple Street. It's Los Angeles. Okay. Didn't have to look at it. Now, that's the... That's not even a federal district court. Y'all need to understand that. That's not the address for the federal district court. I think the federal district court is like 314... But that's because the address is on the side street when you do your work. Now, engaged in civilian courts of law, not citizens. No wonder y'all be getting arrested, being citizens. U.S. Court, Central District of California, Western Division. Ain't that something? So, ladies and gentlemen, they're all corporations, every single one of them. So what we're doing is we're saying, because we're using this information, is saying, hey, wait, wait, Supreme Court, what, what's up with this? If these are all corporations, then how do I find the judicial branch? I want to know. Now, mind you, hold on now. Let's go back one. We got one more thing to show you, and then that's going to be the end of this video, okay? Those of you who stayed around, 
Hey, good job, Chief. That's not the one I'm looking for, Chief. Dana, Dana! You notice this corporation? Ah, it's got the comma. You know what the comma means, right? United States Supreme Court. Okay, that's what the comma means. The comma does not mean the Supreme Court of the United States. The Supreme Court of the United States is the top of the judicial tribunal and a nation. The court, which receives about 10,000 cases to evaluate per term, includes the Chief Justice and eight Associate Justice. The President appoints Supreme Court members to, what are you, what are you guys doing? That don't make no sense. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the trade name is Supreme Court. Ain't that interesting? That's Supreme Court itself. But remember, this is not <laughs> the fact that it said the Supreme Court of the United States. Pay attention. This is not the same court. That's what that court does because that's the Judiciary Act. This is Article 3 of 1879. This Supreme Court was established under that. This Supreme Court was not. Remember, there is a comma there. That means United States Supreme Court. Pay attention. Okay? That's why it's District of Columbia, United States. Pay attention. That comma means something. It doesn't mean the same thing. It doesn't mean it's all the same word. They do that on purpose. Pulp, 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 pulpus. So, what y'all need to understand is they have a dunce number. Supreme Court, uh, uh, United States Supreme Court should not have a dunce number, even though they are a corporation. As long as the court's registry is allowed to keep interest, according to Congressional Act, that means they're making a profit. The reason why government cannot make a profit is because it's the government of the United States. The government of the United States, pay attention, because y'all need to pay attention to this. The government of the United States is a government for the people, by the people, and of the people. So if they made a profit, that's go to the people. Uh-oh. Mama, what did he just say? If the government made a, made a profit, it has to go to the people. It can't go to them. Can't go into no little slush fund. Can't charge the people twice. You charge them first on taxes, then you charge them again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And again. I got to go, ladies and gentlemen. But now you have it. Letter to the Supreme Court. Got to go.